<coughs> to find stationary points, we require the knowledge of dy by dx. dy by dx would be 3x squared minus 6x and minus 9. To find the stationary points, we require that to equal 0. Here, I can see that I've got a factor of 3 throughout, so I divide by 3 to make the problem a little easier, and that will factorise. Minus 3 and plus 1 will give us the minus 2x in the middle and the minus 3 at the end. So therefore, x is equal to 3, or x is equal to minus 1. If I put 3 into the equation up here, we'll find the y coordinate, which happens to be 27, 3 cubed, minus 27, 3 lots of 3 squared, minus 9 lots of 3, so 27, plus 2, so that gives me a total of minus 25. And if I put minus 1 into there, I'll get the y coordinate for the other one, which will be minus 1, i.e. Like minus 1 cubed, minus 3, I minus 3 lots of 1 squared and positive 9 that is minus 9 times minus 1 and plus 2 which gives us a total of 7 to find the nature of the stationary points we require the second derivative which is 6x minus 6 if I put x equal to 3 I get 18 take 6, which is 12, which is greater than 0, therefore we have a minimum value at 3, comma, minus 25, whereas if I put x equal to minus 1, we get minus 6, minus 6, we get minus 12, which is less than 0, therefore a maximum at minus 1. Seven. Part B asks for a sketch. Well, at three, we're down at minus twenty-five. At minus one, we're up at seven. There we know it's a maximum. There we know it's a minimum. If I put nothing in, I get two. So it crosses at two which means the graph will look something like that, crossing there at two. Sketch done.